AST Space Mobile wants to make sci-fi a reality. The space satellite startup promises cell phone coverage from anywhere on Earth, from the middle of the ocean to deep in the woods. All this by connecting your ordinary cell phone, just like the one in your pocket right now, to satellites. Investors are speculating on the opportunity for profits in a truly global wireless network, sending shares up 300% in 2024. But the company has yet to turn a profit, while questions about its technology remain. Analysts see the potential to reach billions of users worldwide, with space-focused research and financial advisory firm Quilty Space calling it, quote, the most valuable company in the space industry not named SpaceX. But with the cost and complexity of AST's satellites as sky-high as their ambitions, all this depends on whether AST's technology can live up to the hype. To connect an ordinary cell phone to a satellite rushing past the Earth at 22 times the speed of sound, the technology needs to correct for a few big problems. Delay, power, and velocity. The way I think about this as a layman is to imagine that the satellite is receiving signals, very faint signals, from a handset on the surface of the Earth. Um, some user in a car or out in a park. And the satellite, if it were just looking at these signals normally, would see them as moving way too fast and being far too distant to connect to a, a normal base station. That's Todd Humphreys, professor of aerospace engineering at the University of Texas at Austin. He says AST's technology works by essentially focusing a narrow, powerful radio wave directly at your device. The key to connecting to an unmodified phone is to pretend to be a base station for that phone and to compensate for all of the extra delays that you get when you're working with a connection between low Earth orbit and the surface of the Earth. The solution, in other words, is to build it all into the satellite. The satellite is doing a lot of the compensation itself. Uh, it has a narrow beam that it's pointing down at Earth. In fact, it has hundreds of these beams, but it's only pointing one of them at you. And it's compensating for its motion by adjusting that beam just so that it doesn't cause the beam's footprint on the ground to move much while it's maintaining the link with you. Now, on your part, with your handset, your phone doesn't have to do much. It's got a very small antenna anyway, and it couldn't really point any special beam enhancement up to the satellite. And so it just does its best to broadcast, thinking that it's talking to a regular base station. Um, all the magic really happens at the satellite and down on the ground at what is called the gateway, which feeds the satellite. To maintain a connection with a user, the satellite hands off a connection from one antenna to another, using the cell phone's position on Earth to help keep itself focused. Eventually, the connection is handed off to another satellite in the same network. The use cases for such technology are immense, even if it does carry some limitations. Here's what David Love, professor of electrical and computer engineering at Purdue University, had to say. Something like this has to happen because there's too many people in the world that do not have connectivity. So when you have billions of people that need this sort of connectivity, something is going to come in to fill that space. And something like a low Earth orbit uh, satellite solution, you know, makes sense that it's, it's going to come along and work. Professor Love cautions that AST solution will likely serve as a supplement rather than a replacement for existing solution. You would see this in really new use cases. That could be maritime, talking to cruise ships or other kinds of ships. Um, rural use cases, which even in a developed country like the United States has poor coverage in many rural areas or other kinds of developing countries. Competitors, meanwhile, are just on the horizon. Apple's new satellite messaging is limited only to text and requires specialized chipsets built into modern iPhones. SpaceX's Starlink, meanwhile, is working on its own similar method of connecting directly to cell phones. What does give AST Space Mobile a possible edge is that it simply works, just like terrestrial service. That is, if it works. Uh, absolutely, they can pull this off. They've already done a demonstration of it. They started back in 2019, where they put a satellite in space that was supposed to act like the phone. And then their big satellite was simulated by um, an antenna array on the ground. So they've been running tests on this and uh, working out the engineering problems since 2019. For Investors Business Daily, this is Mike Truong.